Hello everyone, so for today's video I'm back and I'm going to be showing you how I make my notes. And by notes I mean things that I use to revise from, whether that's a mind map or written revision notes which are just perfect for revising. Um, for A-levels, I have been requested to do this for such a long time as at A-levels, it's very different to GCSE, there's a lot more content but a lot less subjects and you've really got to find a good revision technique early on. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today, how I make my notes and make sure they're really effective and can be revised from. This is either revision material or homework as class notes are pretty much just a scribble. Before I get into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to Bic for sponsoring the video. I will link down below all the information and the pens that I have used within this video and if you want to go purchase them for yourself, you can just see the link down below. So here are all the pens. They come in 13 different colours and as you can see, it's a really nice range. You've got purples, you've got pinks and reds, oranges, blues, greens and then of course your standard black. So yeah, these are the Bic Gelosity pens. I absolutely love these. They're perfect for writing notes with but also making your notes really decorative and pretty and just a little bit different and I think colour is so important when revising so using pens like this are really really good for that. So I thought I would start off by just showing you a basic way to make your main notes. The first thing I did was took the light blue colour and I wrote title. This is where I usually write my title and then I'll come back in with another colour as you can see I've taken this more muted bluey green and put subheading and again, that's where a subheading would go. I just didn't see the point of me doing this for a specific subject. And then I've come in with a lighter green. And this is where I put my first point or a name or something or anything like that. And then I would write in black the information and then just repeat this again. So as you can see, point two, and then the information would go here. And that's kind of how I do my basic standard notes. This is for things like homework or, you know, anything like that. And then if I was in the lesson we were going through it, I would add that in in red in extra details. So this is just a really quick run through again of the pens for you just so you can see the range of colours. Now what I also thought I would show you is how I make a mind map. So as you can see I've taken the light purple colour and in the centre I've written the topic or the heading. This was actually just a question. This one was for sociology so that is what it's related to if you're confused. But as you can see I've taken the light purple and then I've gone back, got all my information ready and then I have taken the darker purple shade and I'm writing my next subheading. And how I like to do my mind maps for sociology is put this then in a little bubble and just do branches of that. a subscriber of my channel for a very long time you will know my favorite pens to use for writing are the Bic crystal pens now of course I love these Gelosity ones but just for making these notes because my handwriting's got to be a little bit smaller I love using the Bic crystal pens you guys know that if you've been around for years on this channel they're always in my stationery hauls every year but yeah as you can see I've gone back now and I've made my branches and I'm just going off writing the sociologist's name and then the little information these are just prompt my map so they're just to get me thinking again as I do prefer to use flashcards which you will see in an upcoming video but yeah that's what I'm just doing here I'll zoom in in a little second for you as well just to show you a little bit more in detail about what I'm doing but this can work for any subject I'm sure and this is also really good for when you're planning responses to exam questions as the information's right here and then you can just go ahead and expand on it and things like that so yeah as you can see I've zoomed in a little bit for you so you can just see what I'm doing for the next bubble so I've put in the topic which is crime and then I've gone ahead started branching off and writing my information As you can see this is the finished mind map this is how well the purple works i've just gone ahead and highlighted some really important facts as well but this is just the overall mind map and then i also did this in pink 
So here is the pink version. Again, I've used the bright pink pen here. I only decided to use one color for this one as it stands out really well. But as you can see, these mind maps are really effective and using these pens are so simple and makes the mind maps look incredible. So I would definitely recommend you get yourself some of these pens for your next mind maps. That is how I make my notes. I really hope you guys did find this video useful and if you did, please let me know down below or leave a thumbs up on this video. A massive thank you again to Bic for sponsoring this video and I will leave a link down below to the product so you can pick up your own pack of the Gelosity Quick Dry Pens. And if you haven't already, turn on that post notification bell to be notified every time I upload and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!